so what is up what is growing on guys giving you a little bit of a nursery update video today and this is something that i in a perfect world i would do on a weekly basis we've just been quite busy try to show you guys what we've been bringing in what we've been propagating what we have newly in stock um, if i can do it a little more regularly i will um, just struggle to get it the time to actually you know come out here and pick up this camera so we're kind of on the not chipping side of the farm but we do have some new interesting stuff in here um, I have a new butterfly plant. I've got a bunch of new papayas we just brought in. Actually, two different varieties. I have a yellow and a red. Um, something that I have a really hard time keeping in stock. And I'm sorry because of the big leaves and the height of the plant I cannot chip um, are cercopia. And that fruit is literally like eating nature's gummy worms. Um, really quite amazing. Recently, I ran into a rare fruit collector you know, that's been growing this for 20 years in the Plant City area. And I was like, what? Cercopia, Plant City. Um, very, very similar range, cold tolerance to what I have here. So we've planted one on the farm. Actually, I got one that I air layered from him. Um, excited to see that. I'll definitely show you guys in another video, but we've got some Cercopia. And you can see that's a really cool looking big leafed plant. Um, kind of looks very similar to like a castor bean, the um, invasive plant that we see all over the state of Florida. And this is a really fast growing, um, typically a pioneer species in like Central America. Here it works really well as just a shade fruit tree um, that makes a really, really interesting fruit. Quite tropical looking, really nice. Um, so like I mentioned, lots of, uh, we actually have a variety of the Vitex or the Chas tree that we selected that's a little bit more dwarf. So we have a dwarf and a standard variety over here. Um, lots of perennial peanut. We've probably got two or three varieties right now. Lots of that Louisiana sugar cane. Um, probably three or four different types of guavas. We are starting to ship native firebush. Um, I have one gallon native firebush. I have Simpson stopper. I actually have a special variety of Simpson stopper. Dogs are going off, excuse the audio. Um, over here on the other side, it's actually a patented variety. I believe it was actually developed here in Pasco County uh, by a native grower out in the Wesley Chapel and it's called Showstopper. A little bit fancier kind of Simpson stopper. We've got those in one gallons. Um, lots of our fancy salvias, regular salvias, white salvias, red salvias, lots of Mexican sunflower. Uh, just like that, just like the Vitex with the sweet almond, we've selected a dwarf. So we have a dwarf sweet almond, a full-size sweet almond. Really low on those uh, perennial pentas or what I like to call them. And you can see lots of flowers going off in here right now. Um, the Coreopsis tick seed going off down there. Um, what is that? Is that the Rutabecchia? We just planted a bunch of that on a project we're doing in Mayaka City. Lots of mimosa over there. We do ship the mimosa. Figs are filled out. Mulberries are filled out. Today is actually shipping day, so plants are going out. Get you a little bit of uh, what's going on in the shipping room and what we have new for the online store. So I'm going to head over to the other side. Most of this bigger material is stuff that we use on installs, deliveries, um, and large orders for pickup. Still got a few of the Everglades tomatoes hanging on. Um, some of the muscadines, we've got a couple different varieties of grapes in stock. And lots of elderberry, roses, blueberries, bamboo, Thakahatchee, vetiver grass, and so on. So I'll get back over that area right now. They're kind of working in there, getting some weeds pulled. Let's head over to that shipping area. Hold tight. Oh, looks like we got some Barbados cherry, um, sweet almond, different elderberry the Everglades tomato, uh, stevia, more mulberries, Turk's cap, caliandra, um, elderberry. In the back here, we've got a lot of pomegranates in stock. I did get some more star fruit for the online store, macadamia nut, lots of Barbados cherry. Coming back out to the front row, we've got little Suriname cherries available for shipping, um, variegated and regular nopales, pink and red Turk's cap hibiscus, Longevity spinach should be back up here soon. Okinawan spinach is probably already on the online store. We've got the lemon and the strawberry uh, cat league guava. We've got lots of roselle coming in. Kinoff hibiscus. Um, you can see some of those newer. That was quite the horn. <laughs> you can see some of those newer star fruit. We've just potted up into three gallons. So uh, native blue porterweed. This one's pretty awesome. This one actually has a, uh, a flower that tastes like raw mushrooms. Um, also a highly medicinal plant, commonly used in teas. Um, I know the Mayans worked with this one a lot. And the little purple flowers literally taste like raw mushrooms. They're quite good. Looks like we got lemongrass coming up in four inch. Looks like we got some more of the uh, Lago spinach coming on. Cranberry hibiscus. Um, looks like they've got more of the 
butterfly pea coming in, which is really awesome. I didn't even know the girls are on top of stuff. We've got variegated society garlic. Looks like we even have some of the uh, calabaza, tropical pumpkins coming in. Lots of um, regular society garlic, lots of cranberry hibiscus. And something that's really exciting that I haven't had in a minute, but I finally do have again. Oh, so let's talk about these for a second. I've got some really cool select variety of papayas. I can't say these are gonna make the online store, maybe. Um, these were selected by my buddy Josh Jamison, and these are all like really special ones out of multiples that he's tried, um, you know, that he's been planting out now over the years. They've had really good success with, really good flavor. There's some more of the uh, seminal pumpkin, strawberry trees, yarrow, rue, lots of mulberries. And this whole entire area, everything you see is pretty much for the online store. So we've got lots of that butterfly fee, lots of katook. Um, the parlor maple looks like they even got some coreopsis coming on here some yakun um, These are some big passion fruit vines and Everything is just full and looking really good this time of year. It's so pretty soon I should have the Edible leaf hibiscus or Kiko's crump or all these different kind of weird common names for it available again soon So those are coming. Um, I did just recently get some coffee plants. This is not something I typically have um, and some four inch that we got on the online store. We have aloe on the online store now um, Got those couple of different varieties of the sisu miami spinach. That one's a favorite for me This is the Suriname spinach. Some people call this the jewels of opar. I really like the flavor of the leaf on this one It has a nice crunch And it's not really mucinologist. So really nice just eating out of hand picking the leaves for that one Lots of that pacopa back there and this is the back shade nursery so whoa we've got chaya we've got the uh is that the toilet paper plant oh oh yep this is the toilet paper plant rob greenfield kind of uh made that one a little bit famous you could say this is our perennial penta this is that rare variety of the tibicina with an edible fruit just kind of starting to get those out looks like these are all salvias we have coming on sisu spinach all different varieties of bananas what else we got here? We've got some mints, we've got some herbs, that's spearmint, um, sisu spinach, chocolate mint. We've got Josh's number one mint. We've got all different types of mints. Um, did just get some more bananas in. These are all the perennial peanut that we actually ship out on a weekly basis. But something you guys have been really waiting for. Oh, I did get a bunch of avocados in. So, you know, just to let you guys know, um, with the avocados, with the green mulberries, with the star fruit, if you are gonna want one, just request one of a variety. Um, I'd be willing to come off of one for a sale, um, you know, to put in with an order, but we've had a couple of people, you know, try to buy six green mulberries and uh, six carry star fruits, and I don't know what they're doing with them. I don't know if they're reselling them. Um, I don't know if they're planting that many at their place, but just so you guys know, I'm holding on to, you know, the bulk of these plants and letting them out in singles. I will let a couple go when they have them available, but I'm not going to let 10 of one variety, five of one variety. Um, I'll let you get that one piece for your collection, but we're really trying to limit how many one person can grab just so everybody can get one. So please don't hoard trees. If you are coming or if you are buying plants, you know, remember that there are other people out here trying to get these plants. So don't buy them all, please. My good buddy, Josh over there at heart, uh, had actually a, a little bit of a bad event this year with the cold. He lost a lot of his stock of cassava. I was supposed to get like a thousand cuttings of the Togo and these other varieties. He maybe had like 50 to hundred. They started a lot in pots. I saw they had them on their nursery. I'm like, Hey, can I buy those? He's like, yeah, you're gonna have to buy them for, you know, what we're selling them for to everybody else. I purchased them. We are reselling them. So I have Togo, I have KMC 40. I have a couple of these different ver name varieties that Josh has been kind of letting go. I don't have a bunch available, but they are live plants. They are in one gallon. So in the past, we have had a couple of cuttings dry out. A couple of people say cuttings didn't take off. You know, there's really a, a more of a guarantee with the plant. So we are shipping live plants of cassava and not just cuttings. This is the peanut butter fruit, um, achachiru, um, some soursop and some sugar apple that didn't like the cold this winter, kind of coming back a little bit pissed off. I do have some nonis available for local pickup. I believe I got a bunch more groomy chama in. We've got some tamarind trees over here. And you can see I've got a whole pile of little tiny one gallon star fruit. And just so you guys know, I paid normal three gallon prices for one gallon star fruit when I was at the nursery two weeks ago because I wanted them. I wanted them so bad. Um, I knew if they got the three gallons and I wasn't there right when they got potted up, somebody else would purchase them. So we bought them at that 
normal three gallon price in a much smaller pot um, and we're shipping some and you know on the online store and we're potting some up for pickup sales but I think the big thing that's going to do for y'all is it's going to lower the shipping costs so I can get you the plant you know for about the same price and I'm hoping to drop that shipping cost just because we're in a smaller pot oh well, there's that big girl guardian of the nursery that is my cane corso what up key hey let me just tell you guys this is probably the best dog i've ever owned we've had golden retrievers labradors i grew up grow raising rottweilers i've had boxers um, obviously we have ginger now she is just unbelievable she just turned one year she's 115 pounds she i have not seen an armadillo since we've gotten this dog um, i don't see any rabbits you rarely see a squirrel on the ground she's caught squirrels she's digging up moles um, you know not only is she keeping the predators away from here the rodents away from here um, she has just become an awesome addition to the family so shout out to kiki hope she knows how much we love her um, she has become just an awesome fit around here you can see she's just waiting for something to move what up girl hey can i get a kiss can i get a kiss no all right that's all we're gonna get all right well that's the big girl and a little bit of a nursery update so not a lot of new stuff to see inside the greenhouse not a lot fruiting right now we've already collected most of the seed on that stuff and we're planting it back out for rootstock coming up here in the future so don't have a lot to show you in there probably gonna go into the, the shipping house and show you what's growing on though so hold tight all right so another exciting one i just got was a bunch of these tubers of this puerto rican taro from josh we've planted these all out in one gallons they're just starting to sprout and i've grown a couple of different varieties of taro so is josh and he said this one is by far the most productive the most flavorful the most like a potato so we grew this out last year i hope to harvest a bunch at the end of this year kind of got them out a little bit late but you'll see those on the online store here soon too that's kind of what the root looks like and pretty soon you'll see the leaf coming up of the plant and it's a beautiful plant an ornamental plant looking in the landscape commonly looking like those elephant ears or alocasias um, so it looks really nice in like a dappled light pond setting water setting understory setting what no matter what that may be and you get roots there's miss ginger out here just uh recovering from a long morning of uh what have you been doing out here chasing playing we know how you roll what you don't like me just giving her the camera do you girls are awesome awesome all right so what is growing on what we have in stock what is new hope you guys enjoyed this little update video kind of kind of keep you guys in the loop here gonna try to make these a little bit more often stay tuned um, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so you guys know what we do around here we pound a lot of dirt pounder <laughs>